Yo guys, AFC Udinho here and welcome to another Pokemon ranked game. Uh, this time I'm playing against Gosu again. Uh, we lost the previous game against Gosu, so let's see how we will do now. Um, I'm just gonna lead up with Scizor. Because Scizor can pretty much U-turn on his whole team. And looking at his team, Heracross can punch a hole in that team. Seriously. But yeah, he goes for his own scissor, goes for Swords Dance, I get off the U-turn, and I'm gonna bring in my Suicune. But yeah, if I can get in my Heracross for free, that means that Heracross will most likely get a kill. So that's one of our game plans. Anyway, I'm just gonna press Scald here because Scissor did go for the Swords Dance. He actually switches out, uh, not risking the burn, but... Bringing in the tentacle is also fine for me because I always have the chance to get it burned as we do get it burned and that means this tentacle won't have any recovery at all because the black sludge recovery gets negated by the burn. But yeah, now I'm going into my own scissor. Because like I said, I want to use this opportunity to bring in my Heracross safely. Because if I can bring in my Heracross at, with full HP, then Heracross will most likely get a kill. Especially against the Crew because Crew has nothing to really knock out my Heracross. So let's see, he does go for the Scald. And he doesn't burn me, so that is that is nice for me. Because now I can go for youth and, and, have, and I will pretty much have more health than with a burn. He doesn't burn me again and that means that I also get some extra damage off because he doesn't have my attack but yeah like i said guys now i'm able to bring in my heracross and i think tentacruel will will die from there with a f uh from facade but i want to use this opportunity to get up a source dance because if he does switch that means i will still get a kill because i could go for facade here but there's also a chance that he might go into his scissor and scissor will definitely take the facade so me sourcing source dancing up here will ensure that I get a kill pretty much because all his Pokemon on his team cannot uh, KO my Heracross so he switches into Garchomp and guys uh, remember from the last game against Gosu uh, this Garchomp was his stealth rocker he had Rocky Helmet, so it was most likely a Impish, Hidden Ability, rock, Rocky Helmet, Max HP, Max Defense, Guard Jump with Stealth Rocks. And I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna die to a plus 2 Heracross with a burn. Because Close Combat will just destroy this guy. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm curious to see what he will do, because nothing on his team is going to switch into this close combat the only thing on Ghost's team that resists uh, the close combat is his tentacruel but even tentacruel won't survive this pretty much and even if tentacruel survives this I'm just gonna knock it out on the next turn but I'm pretty sure a plus two close combat with, with a burnt Heracross will knock out the, the tentacruel because if it's a bolt, max defense bolt, it might live, but then I will knock it out. And if it's faster, that means it will, won't have the bulkiness to uh, survive the attack. But Garchomp stays in there, guys, and look at that. 415 damage, guys. 415 damage. That's so
few turns ago from my uh, scissor did actually a lot to the tent. Damage actually.
<laughs> he actually flinches me again. Okay, let's just press rest. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He flinches me three times in a row without missing. Wait. Oh my god! I press sleep talk. Fu oh, sh. <laughs> I'm so retarded, guys. Holy shit. <coughs> I'm so retarded, seriously. I can actually lose now. Holy shit, man. I can't believe I did that. Goes for icicle crash. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, if he flinches me now, uh, I will be in a love <laughs> Fuck this. Why is this always happening to me, guys? Let's see. Don't flinch me. Okay, he doesn't flinch me. Oh. oh what a relief, guys. What a relief. Because if he did knock out my Suicune, that, me that means that he might be able to win with Scissor. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going to press Sleep Talk. If he, if he switches out, uh, he will die to Stealth Rocks. He bring actually brings in Tyranitar. And is this Tyranitar Bandit? He might be running double band. But what's... Because his Stealth Rocker is a Scar Chomp, so there's a high chance this is Bandit or Scarf. But yeah, we're just spamming Sleep Talk as we do get another Call Might. And he goes for Crunch, and the Crunch actually did a lot, so... I think it's actually Bandit. But yeah, I can just press Scald now. I'm at plus two. As we do get the burn. Okay, that is nice. Because now I can press rest. No, we're not gonna press sleep talk again, guys. <laughs> we're just pressing rest. And I, because his Tantacruel died, uh, he, he doesn't really have anything to deal with my Suicune anymore. He does have the Raikou, but I do have to hit Pout in the in the back, so that combination should win me the game. Uh, I'm just gonna press Sleep Talk again, uh, and Tyranitar will die the next time it comes in, or it will live at one HP. Yeah, I go for Sleep Talk again. I do get on get another Calm Mind, and should I just Sleep Talk again? Should I? He does go for Calm Mind himself, so Raikou is at plus one, but we get another Calm Mind, and I can basically just press rest. Still have to hit Powder and left. I can just press, uh, I mean I can press Scald. To wake up, we do get the burn. We get the burn is nice because he doesn't get any recovery from leftovers now. And Raikou is basically at plus two. Uh, Plus two special attack and special defense. But let's bring in the Hippowden now. Because if he does knock out my Hippowden, I can just bring in my Weevil and knock it out. He does go for another Calm Mind. So Raikou at plus three. Uh, I'm just going to press Earthquake. If he knocks out my Hippowden, I can just knock him out with the Weevil. But Hippowden, you beast! Hippowden actually surviving a plus three Calm Mind. Holy fuck. <laughs> I actually expected Hippowden to die there, but Hippowden beasting right in front of me. What a guy, what a guy. I'm s Damn. Damn, guys. <laughs> Hippowden. OP, guys. Hippowden is so OP. But yeah, I, I wouldn't mind <laughs> if Hippowden actually died there. Because then I could have brought in my Weaver. Uh, but yeah, Hippowden lives. And all he has left is a Weevil that will die to Stealth Rocks. Tyranitar who might die to Stealth Rocks. And his, uh, his Scissor. But I do have my uh, Suicune at basically full HP. So that's what I'm gonna go uh, straight in. I'm just gonna go straight into my Suicune. Because if he... If he Swords Dances right now, I can hit him with the Scald. And if he Roosts up, that means that uh, he won't... Have his attack stat boosted. So let's see. 
what is going to happen here? Okay, you roosted up. So that means he doesn't have a sword stance up. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to go for the Calm Mind. Just to get some extra damage off. Because the scissor can never really damage me. The only way the scissor can damage my scissor, uh, my Suicune is if he presses U-turn. But him pressing U-turn means that... Um, him pressing U-turn means that he will lose all his Sword Stance boosted stats. So I'll just go for Scald again. He stayed in. He gets burned. But I don't think that burn mattered because my Suicune was faster. So... Only thing he could have pressed right there would have been a bullet punch. So that is basically GG. His remaining Pokemon will die to Stealth Rocks. And if the Renatar doesn't die to Stealth Rocks, it will just die to the next attack. So Scissor going down. He's not going to attempt to go for the bullet punch. Because it does nothing. And the Renatar comes in. The at 30%. And Tyranitar actually dies to the Stealth Rock, so we basically won the game right there. Because Weevil is also going to die to the Stealth Rocks. And this is why you always should bring Stealth Rocks to your team, guys. Because Stealth Rocks does a really lot of pressure to your opponent. But that's basically it, guys. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know who was the MVP in our squad for this game. Was it the Heracross who basically opened up the game for me? Was it the Hippowden who is always solid in my teams? Was it the Suicune? Uh, or was it the Scissor who always pivoted well into his attacks? Let me know.